We're gonna we're install gonna these it. coilovers. No, it's not the dent. Today we're back and we're gonna show you guys how to remove a dent from a car. This is gonna be our second try. Um, now I know what you're thinking. We didn't see a first try. Well, um, it didn't really work out. We tried to use the heat it up and then spray it with cold air method. Um, I like saw it a little bit on the internet and I thought, hmm, it's worth a shot. And so we didn't have to buy anything expensive. We could just buy cold air and a heat gun. Um, but it didn't work. We'll put a little bit of that clip right here. Son of a bitch. Yeah. So today, we're back. And instead of using science, which never works, we're gonna use some brute force to get this dent out. Now, I'll show you guys the dent. It's not big at all. Like, it's a very small dent. And I think most people would probably just leave it and not even take care of it. But me being me, I, I like I, I want to remove it. So we're using the glue pull method. My phone won't stop ringing. We're using the glue pull method, and we're gonna walk you guys through how to do this. Now, unlike the spray air thing, um, you can't just kind of do this with things that you find around your house. You do have to have this mechanism that I keep beating. Um, wow, that was sexual. So we're gonna walk you guys through this and show you guys. We've never done this before. But I mean, how hard could it be? All right, so step one is gonna be to heat up the glue gun. And to do that, I'm pretty sure all you have to do is plug it in to the power like so. Like so. So let me show you guys the dent that we're working with. This ginormous ding right here, which I cannot, after that happened, I, oh, let me explain how that happened. Um, so now we're gonna fix it. Um, so this is the dent right here. These are the little pulley things that the system came with. And how it works is you pick one that fits the size of the dent. And then you use this side that kind of has like the notches and stuff to have more grip on the glue. And you pick one that's about the same size as the dent. You put the glue on here and press it on to the dent. Now the thing is, your first instinct is gonna to be to push it really hard so that it sticks hard. But that's actually not what you should do. You should put some glue on here, depending on the size of the presser. Like obviously if you use one of these gigantic ones, you're gonna use more glue than if you use one of these tiny ones. So just kind of use the glue accordingly. If you're gonna put it on here, you press it just lightly. You just put it a little bit on there. That way there's still a lot of glue between here and the dent. Because if you push it hard, it'll spread the glue out and around and not in between the parts that matter. So once you put the glue on, you're gonna lightly press it on there and then you're gonna wait for about five minutes. So we'll see you guys then. So now it's been about five minutes since we installed this glue. And a way to tell if it's set is you can kind of touch around it and feel if it's warm. If it's cool, you should be good to go. You have a little notch right here and you're gonna insert this puller into the notch. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> what? What? This time, just to tell you what, what we did differently is we put more glue put a little bit more pressure when applying it, but not too much, and we also surrounded it with glue. Walking you through the steps, we're gonna insert it into the mechanism. The glue actually stopped it. Okay, there it is. Okay, so now I'm gonna go like this and use the weight of this mechanism to kind of pull it, and eventually it's gonna come off. Now, if it comes off the first time, it may not pull the dent out, so you might have to do it a couple times, so make sure it's all tightened. The dent is still there. <laughs> So we're gonna try it one more time. I swear to God. All right, this is the fifth and final try of this pulley outy thingy. The actual final try? This is the actual final try. If this doesn't work, I'm taking it to a shop. So what I did differently this time, the past two times it would pull the little grabber thing off, but it wouldn't release it from the car. So what I did this time was I put an excess of glue around the actual grabber. So now there's a lot of glue on the grabber and also enough on the car. Cause, and I quote, how hard could it be? Okay.
And to remove your glue, after your project has failed, you use rubbing alcohol. You apply it like such, so, such. And then you apply more, like so. Why do I suck at everything? It's like a little bit there. It's, it's tiny though. That's barely anything. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is how you remove a dent. Partially. That's, it's still there, but it's a lot smaller. We actually got the dent to be a lot smaller than it was. I mean, it's not gone. Like, you can still see it pretty much at first glance, but it's not as bad as it was. And I guess like what I've learned from this is just keep trying, like don't give up. That's a long way to go for what we've achieved today. Like that's a big moral for the tiny accomplishment that we've achieved. If you like this video, <laughs> make sure that you guys hit that like button and subscribe to both of our channels because this is the first of many how-to videos. Hopefully a lot of them go better than this. So again, make sure you guys subscribe, follow us on Instagram, Snapchat, and Twitter. We'll see you guys next time. Okay, well that glue stick stuck better. I think it's still there. Oh, so you can just peel this off. Okay, get the rubbing off. This mechanism that I keep beating. Um,